Paolo again and welcome to the third in my series of videos on the importance of all adults who are working with children pronouncing phonic sounds correctly. So this video is going to focus on four things that might help you to learn to say sounds correctly if that's something that you're finding a little bit tricky. So the first thing you can do, there are a number of places online where you can check out um, correct sounds. One of those is on my website, so www.leslieclarksyntheticphonics.co.uk. On the parents tab, there is a section called Frequently Asked Questions. If you go to the question that says, I'm not sure how to say the sounds correctly, um, you can find a page with all the graphemes that are taught in school and the sounds that they make. Um, just beware if you are looking at a, an online page which is there to support with um, sounds, that there will be regional differences. Um, which can all be correct um, but what we're really focusing on today um, in, in this set of videos is particularly the need not to use uh on the ends of sounds and, and that applies across the country really with, with, uh, with, with most sounds that we're saying particularly consonant sounds. So first thing you can do is to check out some online support. Um, if that's not easy for you another thing that you can do um, is to use words that start with the sound you're unsure about and use the word to help you work out the sound. So, for example, if you're not quite sure how to say that sound, let's use a word that starts with that letter. So if we use the word leg, have a go at saying leg, but stop before you get to the egg bit. So, ready? L and that's how we pronounce it. So it's not l because you don't have a l egg. So you have a leg. Leg starts with l. Here's another one. If you're not sure about that one, let's use a word that starts with that sound. So the colour red. So have a go at saying red, but stop before you get to the ed bit. So have a try. R so that's how we say the sound. So it's not r, because we don't have r ed as a colour. We have red, and red starts with r. So that's that's the second thing you can do if you're not sure is to use a word that starts with that sound and just that that letter and, and just stop yourself after after you've just just started the word. Just be aware as well. This is uh, number three. We generally do not use uh on the ends of sound. So if you find yourself doing that, it's probably not right. Um, there are three letters in particular um, that do sound like they might have a little one. So if we look at these three, it's um, this one. It's not b. Let's keep that really short. B. So it has a tiny little one, but it's not b. Okay, so b. this one, it's not d, keep it short, d. And this one, it's not g, we keep it short, g. So that's the third thing you can do. And the fourth thing you can do, there are a set of sounds that are known as unvoiced sounds. And we don't um, use our vocal cords for those ones. And sometimes where we go wrong as adults when we're saying sounds is that we feel we have to engage our vocal cords. And as soon as you engage your vocal cords, you can end up with that uh on the end. Um, so for example, the letter P um, is not P, we shouldn't actually be engaging our, our vocal cords at all. So that one is p, p. You can still make it quite loud. Um, if you're having to work in a classroom, you can still project that one. P, p. Okay, so one way to tell with those ones, just very gently rest your hands over your vocal cords while we say the sounds that are on my board coming up. We don't want to feel any vibrations in our vocal cords, okay? So while we're having a go at these, just, just check that you can't feel those vibrations. So these are the ones where we're, we're that are the, the unvoiced sounds. So this one is k, k. 
So it's not k, k. This one, ch. So it's not ch. This is f. So you're just breathing. F. It's not f. This one, it's not h. Just breathe. So this one we talked about just now, it's not p, we're just going to breathe that one, p, p. This one, it's not s, let's just breathe it, s. This one, it's not sh, it's sh. This one, it's not t, it's t, t. And this one, it's not th, it's so that's the fourth thing that you can do is to remember that that little group of sounds don't engage your vocal cords for those um, and that way we can avoid the little uh that it might um, end up having otherwise. So that's the end of video three. Uh, there are more videos to come. If you're finding this useful, do, do tune in for those.